Hello, Shade753 here to bring you the second part of my exposing of epic skills. Let's begin. So right here, he says that in the that he can he debunked me in the very first 30 seconds of the video, saying like, "There's nothing against you. Know, there's absolutely nothing actually against me being a fanboy." Really? Well. Let's look at the definition of a fanboy. Let's look at what I said here. A fanboy equals someone who will defend something blind of logic. You claim to have a higher IQ than 186. And that you hang out with Bill Gates with no proof. You're a fanboy yourself. You're bringing yourself up to such a high standard. with Saying that you hang out with Bill Gates. Saying that you have such a high IQ with no proof. Hmm. So right here, he wait, where's yeah, yeah right here he says that he wasn't the one who said he had a he had an IQ of 186 and that this guy is blind and now he's apparently saying I'm blind too. But right here, look what I said. You said you had a higher IQ than the guy who said he he had 186. Hmm. Now look, his response. I was telling a guy who claimed to have 186 that he was nonsensically wrong. How do you know he's wrong? He could have been telling the truth. Granted, he didn't provide any evidence, so I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And also, he says that this is evident because I was smarter than him. How do you know that yours is smarter than him? Like, it does, like and my IQ is nowhere near 100, 186. It's probably quite a bit below 150. So, look at this. It probably, how do you know you're smarter if you never even had your IQ tested? Also, you claimed you hang out with Bill Gates. And also, it probably is quite, that's pretty bad grammar for someone with a self-estimated IQ of 150. And right here, he tries to defend himself again, saying that I've had my IQ tested several times. Like, and the, the ones that he tested can only go to 130 or 125. Hmm. That's very soon. Also, he said he had quite lower than 150. Second of all, my grammar was perfect. Like, he said, it probably is quite a bit below 150 at that. What I said was there was flawless in terms of grammar. Really? Flawless in terms of grammar? Let's look at this. Okay. Like, one, where's your proof you you reached the limit of all your IQ tests, huh? Where's the proof? Also, like, it probably is quite below. Let's count the mistakes. One, it, you mean it's, also probably is quite a bit. There's no need for it is if you would have put it's instead of it. And one thing I forgot to mention, it probably is. Like, you could have just put... Uh, Never mind, just just keep going. <laughs> Three, it is quite lower or quite a bit below. Make up your mind. Because let's scroll back up. Let's scroll back up here. Let's see what he originally said. Hmm. Okay. That kind of point. It's in here. Probably is quite a bit. Probably is quite a bit below. Is it probably quite a bit below? Is it quite lower? Make up your mind. Also, you never answered the question about you claiming to hang out with Bill Gates. Which is it, man? Which is it? Also, the thing I was going to say earlier about right here. You see, the thing I forgot to mention is quite and a bit mean the same thing in that regard. You could have just put quite below. It is probably quite below. Or it is, it is a bit below. Either one of those would have been acceptable. But no. So that's all I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe. And uh, epic skills. I mean no personal offense by this. Uh, I'm just teasing people. I'm just teasing people when I say that I'm exposing them. This, this isn't anything personal. Okay. Bye.